Hey y'all, today we're gonna be doing Melina's Closet Clean Out. Getting ready for that trip to Columbia. We're gonna get rid of all of the clothes that don't fit and all of the toys that Melina doesn't play with anymore. And we're gonna take them down to Columbia with us and donate them to the neighborhood kids there. So stick around and find out how we do it and uh, how much we're gonna get rid of, which is hopefully a lot. which ends up as a pile and I um, I when we go to donate stuff I don't even look through that pile because I know everything in that pile doesn't fit her anymore the rest of the clothes that we're gonna look at are the things that she they probably fit her perfectly right now and she'll be able to wear them for the rest of the season but when it comes around to the season next year, she won't be able to wear them. So these are the clothes that we will go ahead and get rid of because by the time we get back from Columbia, uh, the the summer season's gonna be over. So all of her summer stuff, gone. We're done. Yeah, she doesn't need that anymore. Now the stuff that maybe is big that she can probably wear next year is stuff we'll keep. So. Time to get started. I'm putting my donate pile right here and my try on pile. Let's separate them because. And I'm putting my try on pile right there. This is Melina's closet. A lot of Melina's closet gets used as extra storage for Mauricio and I because we are so limited on space living in my parents' house that we do have stuff that we use frequently and need easy access to. Like, all of my kitchen spices are actually kept up here because my uh, we don't have enough space downstairs in the kitchen to keep my excessive amount of kitchen spices and I didn't want to put those in storage long term so and I use them quite frequently so this over here is the stuff that is the automatic donate this coat her aunt Diane, who's her godmother, gave her, and I love this coat. This this is from probably one of my favorite websites. It's called Chasing Fireflies, and I just love their stuff. Pajamas, shorts, socks, more stuff. I loved these shoes. Emily and I could only wear them for like two weeks. Her feet like skip sizes. Look at this little sweater dress, so cute so small this dress needs to be tried on so i'm gonna put this with the try on pile Elsa above Melina's bed on the Elsa bank. It's like I'm staring at Elsa everywhere. Elsa's down here, Elsa's up here, Elsa's on the bed, Elsa's over here. I don't love Elsa, but you know, I'm gonna let it go. Okay, now these bins, because we don't have drawers in here, uh, normally we would have a chest of drawers for Melina, but since we don't have drawers, the furniture in here is actually my parents' furniture. We had bought this really nice set of uh, convertible furniture from Restoration Hardware, and I hate to be this way, but I kind of hate Restoration Hardware furniture. It's crap. It's not good quality. It's all laminate. It's not solid wood. And it's expensive. So what I found is while I was living overseas, I always had like solid wood pieces of 
the furniture made for cheap. And so, like, our guest room furniture, which was my bedroom furniture when I was single, I had made in Nicaragua. It's solid walnut. My design, I designed it all myself. I told them exactly what I wanted. I got seven pieces of furniture. I think I paid like $2,000 for all seven pieces, but it has nightstands, chest of drawers, this beautiful bed, um, an armoire. I mean, everything. And it's solid and it's one of a kind. And so when we were packing out of Mexico, we were really close to being overweight. We have a weight limit when we moved. And because we were so close to being overweight, we had to get rid of some stuff. And I told Mauricio, we can sell this restoration hardware stuff down here in Mexico for pretty close to what we paid for because they didn't have restoration hardware in Mexico and all the the wealthier Mexicans would be interested in that. So I posted something at Molina School about selling it and I sold it in like, I, I'm not kidding you, less than a day. And I sold it for not much more and not much less than we paid for it. So, um, and I hated it. It made me mad every time I looked at it because the quality was so poor. So I am so glad we got rid of that. But um, as a consequence, that was a little diversion on why I hate restoration hardware. <laughs> but um, as a consequence, when we got to Melina's, uh, decorating Melina's room, we decided just to use the furniture my mom had in her guest room. So, you know, the comforter is Melina's, the shell, the, not the shelves, but the, the bins are Melina's. Uh, the toys, obviously, are Melina's. The little carpet and, and the, the stuff over there is Melina's too. But, but the furniture itself is not Melina's. But, oh my goodness, I love my mom's nightstands. Like, I may offer to buy them off of her when we leave. I keep those because they are frozen. And God forbid we don't keep everything frozen. And we are going to not only go through these and get rid of stuff, but we are also going to reorganize it because this pile is not working for me. These are medium. They should be fine. These should be fine. <laughs> important to me that it, Melina develops a charitable sense about her so when it's time for her to try on these clothes and give away her stuff you know giving stuff giving your own stuff away is really hard for kids and so I always sit down with her and I talk to her about some of her friends that are in Colombia that maybe have less than she does but Melina loves them and so I, um, we talk about how those kids could really use some of the stuff. And when it's all said and done, Melina wants to give it to them. Now, if I were to go in and take all this stuff out and just give it away and it just disappeared, Melina would freak out. So tomorrow we'll sit down before I try on the stuff and we'll talk about giving and why it's so important and, and, um, not holding on to things forever and how, you know, it's okay to get rid of stuff that you don't need anymore and give it to somebody who might need it. So those, that's super important to me that Melina developed that kind of personality. And so that's how I'll deal with that. But I'm not going to deal with it until tomorrow because the goal for the day was to just get the stuff out of the closet today. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, click like. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button and you'll see what my new videos that I love upload twice weekly, maybe sometimes three, uh, but definitely twice weekly. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.